to our little place for happy things and thoughts. It's been quite a few weeks since I've last posted a video on here. I haven't really taken a break in a while, but I did. If you watched my last Disney haul video, um, I mentioned that I was gonna be taking a trip to Disney World, so that's one of the reasons. And then also I needed a little break because work has been really busy. YouTube is obviously not my main job. Actually, it's not my job at all. I don't get paid for this. Um, so work has been keeping me really busy and I just had to take a bit of a break. But I'm back now. I'm really excited to bring you guys lots of more videos. I have some um, more Disney stuff, DIYs, pet videos, some Disney bounding videos coming up. So stay tuned for that. But nonetheless, today I'm bringing you guys a Disney haul video. So like I said, I went to Disney World. I bought a lot of things, but I also have some cute and exciting things from Disneyland Paris, which I have a friend that went and she brought me a little something back. And also some more things from my friend, Wendy, who is stationed in Japan with the Navy. She gave me some really cute things from Disney Tokyo Sea. So lots of things to share with you guys from the different Disneys around the world. I am super excited to share these things with you guys. So how about we start with the very first thing and let's start with Disney World. So the very first thing that I'm gonna show you from Disney World is this pair of ears, of course. I told myself I have lots of ears and I was like, I'm not gonna buy more, I don't need them. I'll buy other things, not ears, but I gave in. I just added another pair to the collection and you know what? I'm not even mad about it. I saw these and I had to have them. I was like, I mean, why not? I'm at Disney World. Might as well make it the memorable pair that I bought there when I went for the first time ever. They are super cute. I just really like them because they remind me of like, they're called millennial pink ears, but they just remind me of like bubble gum pink ears because they're so like plush. They're a nice pink color and they're shiny. They're super sparkly, very girly, cute. They're kind of like in style, like the silver classic um, mini ears with the sequins and all, except that these uh, have the bow that's a little bit more plush and plump. I don't know how else to describe it, but um, yeah, I like these so much. They're so cute. Should I just keep them on for the rest of the video? I think I am. I'm gonna do that. But yeah, like them a lot. Gonna be using them for a Disney bound video, which I'll be bringing you guys um, very soon. And yeah, the very next thing that I bought are these super gigantic, ooh, holding it backwards, bows. If you guys don't know, Disney has this new thing, which I think is actually pretty genius, um, where they are selling uh, ears now, but with clip-on bows. How cool is that? Because that means that you no longer have to have so many different pairs of ears, although we probably all will still have them, but um, if you choose not to, you just buy one pair of ears and they come with a set of, they come with one clip-on bow, and then um, you can buy the different types of bows. So I got, ooh, so I got the It's a Small World pair of ears, which are nice and purpley, sparkly. They have glitter all over the place. Um, they have the different patterns and colors that you find at It's a Small World. And then of course it has the little face from It's a Small World. I don't know what that is. It's like the face at the center of the clock, I think. Um, and then I also got the Aladdin magic carpet inspired ears with a nice sparkly blue um, sequins the beautiful gemstone at the middle, the dark blue one that you see on Jasmine's headband, and then on um, the outer corners or the back of the bow representing the magic carpet. I bought two, they had the two for 30 sale, so I got these. It was really hard because they had the different princesses, they had Snow White, Aurora, um, I think Belle, they had the Tiki Room, Haunted Mansion, Ariel, so many. I really want them all. Um, I wish I could collect them. I probably will. Although I would like to try to DIY some of them. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. And if you don't let me know, I probably will still do it anyways, because you know. If you notice, I did not buy the ears. I just bought the bows. I think I probably may get the ears later on. Um, but for now, I just wanted to get these because they have these clips at the back and you can still attach them to your hair. So I thought about maybe doing like a really high cute pony or maybe doing like a low braid or a low pony and putting them in the back. I think I could pull off some really cute looks so I will most likely be doing some Disney inspired looks with these. Um, maybe some Disney bounding videos, I don't know. Um, but these will do for now. Maybe the ears will come later. 
uh, but I just really like them for uh, clipping on to my hair. The very next thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is a Disney World shirt that says, has the castle, and says, my happy place. So this one is not for me. This is something that I bought for my mama. She asked me for a shirt from Disney World. I believe that this one's exclusive to Disney World. I don't think I've seen it at Disneyland, and this should be the Cinderella castle, Cinderella, Cinderella castle that is over there. It's a nice pink color and then it has the gray trims. It's really, really soft and comfy. Um, I feel like this is something nice to wear for a hot day at the Disney parks because the material is so thin. Um, and she's gonna be really happy with it. I sent her some pictures of it and she was so excited. She was like, that one, that one. I sent her other pictures, but she really liked this one. Um, and it seemed really popular. I feel like I saw quite a few folks buying this one. Um, it's just simple, it's cute, but it still speaks Disney. The next thing that I got at Disney World is actually back here. And this is again, not for me as well. This is for my mother-in-law, Mason's mom. Um, we got her a little mug. She loves mugs just like me. She really adores it when we bring them to her. Um, so she has a whole collection of them. So uh, Mason picked this one out for her with my help, of course, but we got it because it reminded us of her. It has Minnie on the front with her super her dolled up robe and her hair up in tubes. She's just super glam, like Mason's mom. And she's drinking her coffee and in the back it says, I'm only awake for the coffee. And she has her little expression of like, <laughs> in the front, like she's not happy to talk to you in the morning. What else can I say about this other than it's pink, it has mini, a cute quote, and it could hold a good nice amount of coffee in there in the morning. The very next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is actually back here behind me. Grab them. They are postcards. So I got these in the Beauty and the Beast section at Disney World and they are just the cutest. They are postcards, but I mean, it's also art. I love these so much. Um, I just think they're really, really cute and they're perfect for framing, which is what I'm gonna do. I haven't removed them from their protective thing. I don't know if I will. Maybe I'll just put them like this in the frames. But um, even though they're postcards, what I am gonna do is just frame them and um, use them to decorate my office. And that was really it from Disney World. Um, but it's not it for this video because next stop is Disneyland Paris where my friend Shannon recently went and she brought me back this cute little coin purse wallet. Actually, is it a wallet or a coin purse? I forgot, it's been a while. It's a coin purse, but look at that. Look how cute this is. It has ears in the back and um, a little Mickey in the front. Ooh, don't wanna get that close. Um, a little Mickey in the front and a nice red handle that you can just put slip through your hand or hold onto. Um, I really love this because even though I love my bags and my backpacks, sometimes when going out, if I'm going really quick to the market or something, I don't really want to carry anything with me um, other than my money and my cards. So this is perfect for it. I like it so much. Um, I could throw this into my purse too and just keep my money in there. Um, it's cute, it's pretty sturdy, and I am going to cherish this forever. Up next is Tokyo Disney Sea. And like I mentioned, my wonderful friend Wendy sent me some stuff from over there. The first is this. Aladdin mug you guys if you've seen other videos of mine, especially my last Disney haul You know because I've emphasized it tons of times how much I love to collect mugs and specifically Disney mugs They are my all-time favorite thing to collect in addition to Disney buttons um, But this is just adorable if you can see it. It is a nice light blue um, It has sparkly stars all over it and clouds and then some pictures of Aladdin and Jasmine Riding through the night sky on the magic carpet. The detail is insane I mean it even has stars inside look at that. It's just adorable. It's beautiful. I would love to do a nice um, Fancy cup of coffee in this or hot cocoa uh, I like it so much and I'm definitely gonna be using this she knows me very well and she knows my love for mugs. In the last Disney haul video I showed that she gave me some Ariel and Eric uh, couple mugs. 
is that saying it right? Couple mugs, mugs for couples. Anyways, um, and so she did it again and she sent me this one and then she really did it again because she also sent me some more mugs. This time, couple mugs, but with Mickey and Minnie on there. How cute are these? You guys, look at them. So it's a Mickey covering his mouth and looking surprised and a Minnie looking um, flustered or something like that with a little bow over her eyes. And they actually like three, dimensional they like pop out the detail on these is so beautiful and um, they're just so delicate and pretty I'm scared to use these but we will be using them in the morning maybe their expressions are frightened because they haven't had their coffee yet so so that is it from Disney World, um, Disneyland Paris, and Disney Tokyo Sea. I do have a couple of other things that I want to share with you guys that are not Disney parks related, but I did it again. I got some more pins, you guys. Like I said, I'm a big Disney pin, Disney button, Disney button pin collector. So this first one is of Ariel, where she, that iconic scene where she's singing her song and she's at the top of the rock above um, in the ocean. Um, the other one is the stained glass window art of the Beast's castle. Um, and then the last one is just a mini silhouette head with her iconic uh, red bow with white polka dots. Uh, and I just love these. I'm adding these to my collection. I like to integrate Disney pins into a lot of the Disney outfits um, and Disney bounding videos that I do. So maybe you'll be seeing some of these in there. But for now, they go into my little uh, la, la, la. But for now, they go into my little collection with the rest of my pins. Next thing that I have to share with you guys is a Donald Duck canvas bag that is huge. You can probably fit me, I'm oh, probably too big, you can't fit me, but you can fit a lot of things in here. And that is why I like it and I bought it. I found this on eBay and it has like the sort of animation drawing type of Donald on there. Um, you can see that more in the back. Um, and it has, it says Donald and it says Donald Duck likes to be the center of attention. And yeah, I like it because it's really sturdy. You can beat it up and put your stuff in there. Um, it's perfect for like a weekend bag, I feel. I like these types of bags like because they're just so easy to move around and take lots of things with you for like a weekend. Whew, I'm just throwing dust all over the place, but I like it. I think it's really cute. I like the colors. Um, on the side, it has some different types of stripe patterns and it is just perfect for me because, yeah. I mean, you can also use it for grocery if you wanted to, but I feel like it's too nice for that. Um, it's the perfect bag for me for when I go out and I would highly recommend it. It has a nice blue zipper. And in the inside, aside from having all of that space, it has an extra little pocket in there for smaller things that you wanna throw, but you don't want to get lost in the vast space that is in there. And then the last is right behind me. And I'm not gonna move it from there, but I will show some clips of it. It is a Coco guitar, you guys. Um, so this one, I did not buy it. Somebody sent it to me, and I have no idea who sent it to me. Um, it just randomly was sent to me by some kind uh, stranger, which is very strange and um, interesting story. It's actually, I think, a collector's item or a very expensive children's toy because I checked online and it's made by this company called First Act and it goes for like 140 bucks. And that's because it's an actual real guitar. Like I know they sell real guitars for kids out there that they can play and learn how to play and beat up, but this is like legit, like, Bridget, but this is like legit. It sounds really good. It is just smaller. It's made for like kids hands um, So it's kind of hard for me to play but um, It is beautiful the level of detail. I'll show a close-up um, right now is just amazing It has Miguel the main character from Coco on there um, as well as some of the other characters the alebrijes and some other traditional uh, Mexican art, you know in the style of the other los muertos uh, it's just beautiful, uh, it works, it's real, and it makes a really nice collection um, for all of my other things that I have. So thank you, stranger who sent it to me. <sighs> okay, 
And now that is really it. Those were all the things that I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing these things. If you did like this, make sure to give me a like. And if you're not, subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Anyways, sending you guys all a really, really big virtual hug. Keep dreaming, keep doing, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.